Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Tyler from Valve News Network, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Half Life Alpha version 0.52. I've taken a look at this a few times already. This is like the third time I've tried shooting this because I've tried to optimize the picture as best as possible. And I think I've done that. I have it to my full screen resolution with correct lighting that I had to correct myself because the source code in this game is very buggy. And as you will see here, is it is it is exactly... This is Quake. This is the Quake engine, and if you know your Valve history, Half-Life, the Gold Source engine, is based off of the Quake engine. So this is early when the user interface was not changed at all. This is the actual Quake options, and this is the Quake thing, but with more, with a different font. If you go inside the game's files on the CD, there is some more stuff, including this picture that shows the original Valve copyright logo, and it shows Prospero and Indeep are both Valve products. Prospero was a cancelled game, and Indeep was the first name of Half-Life. So, we're gonna get into the game. Now, the this demo that was sent to press includes pretty much the first couple chapters of the game in a very early stage, and a tech demo. We're gonna take a look at the early stage version of the game first, and then tomorrow we're gonna be looking at the tech demo. Now, little thing that you need to know before we start with the, the, the game. It is very, very early development. There was a point in Half-Life's development where Valve was like, this game sucks, let's start from scratch, and this is before that happened. You will see some things that were later recycled somewhat into the game, and all weapons don't really work. You start out with the pistol and the SMG, and you have that throughout the game. Uh, there are also some blank weapons that don't show up, and there is not really any kind of graphical user interface. Not, not GUI. There is, there's no HUD. There is a HUD that you can make come up and it gives you a basic idea of what your health is, but that's all that comes up. There's no weapon selection screen. There's nothing. Okay, there's not even a working flashlight, so sometimes I do have to play with Fulbright on. I will turn it off if necessary. Um, and so, let's get started. Map C1, A1. This right here, in case you don't know, is a beta enemy that was never intended for the game. This is how shooting a weapon looks. Another thing uh, is that it's one hit kill in this game. I'll bring up the HUD. It comes into three pieces. Um, and there's no, like, ragdoll or anything. And you, you push that button, I don't know what happens. This is what a beta scientist looked like. Also, I'm going to have to play in God mode, because if I don't, I will die many times. And the only way you can select a weapon is if you hit Q, or your weapon select button that you choose in the controls, and then click the button, your mouse button. So Q, click, blank. Q, click, another blank. Q, click, back to your pistol. Use key, you have to bind in the config files. Um, along with Fulbright, and there's a lot of broken keys. There's also some broken parts in the game that you have to use no clip to get through. Also, that's map load right there. That's how quick maps load nowadays. Also, every time you load a map, you have to turn God Mode back on. You will see me going around just shooting grenades because there's no ammo either, so... Also, this part I've played through once before and I still really don't know what I'm supposed to do, so... There is, um... Some stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, whenever there's decals on anything, it starts glitching out, so that's another bug in the engine that I don't completely understand. Scientists do not talk. Uh, they don't even walk around that well either. You gotta, like, shoot them for them to be able to work correctly. 
they follow you a little bit, kind of, and you have to get one of them to follow you to be able to, um, open an exit door. So let's get him out here. So you'll start to see why this product, uh, was delayed so much. It might be the reason be why we have valve time, and that is because uh, valve, I guess, when they start a game, suck. They suck. Oh, I guess I don't need you. It's the first time I've actually seen this door open. Other things that you'll notice is there are bugs with doors. There are bugs. Uh, you'll see one coming up soon, actually. Uh, apparently, early on in the game's development, doors are two parts. It's the glass and it's the door. And they open separately, just at the same time. See? Impulse 101 doesn't work. I mean, you can use it, but it... Some, oh, that's another problem. Textures kind of die sometimes. Display no texture instead. The game is still a game. It's not such. It's not so bad that it's unplayable, which is nice. Um, also, there is branching paths, but then you find out that the branching paths paths actually don't branch at all. Um, they're just like wraparounds that make you feel like you have a choice. Uh, the, the the attention to detail is still here, however, and you know, like in almost every Valve game, there's always a lot of detail. Okay, this room, you should be able to recognize. This was reused later in the game. See. That was turned into Mr. That was turned into Dr. Gabe's office later in the game's development, obviously. Um, health packs in this game make no sense to me. You walk up to them, push the use key, and if you need health, which I'm not going to need health, if you need health, they open up for like a split second and give you a little bit of health, and they close down very slowly. Doors open very slow. But whatevs, man. Office complex. Very unpolished. Oh, I see what part of the game this is. I gotta push the crate over. There's no little crate, however. Am I supposed to grab that little crate from all the way over here? That is dumb. Wow, that's really dumb. So it shows you what part of the game was left. They pretty much said, this game sucks. Let's do it over uh, and make it better. And that's why the game was, the first Valve game ever was delayed. Now you're going to see how retarded it looks to climb up a ladder in this game. Wow, this is actually really close. Is it a turret? No. Okay. I think they're supposed to be. Uh... Okay, so I, I might be wrong. Oh. Well, that's not even close to what the game is. The... The HEV grunts were not introduced at this point. 
I think they're placeholders for Vortigaunts, though, because Vortigaunts are supposed to be in this, this part of the game. However, the beginning part of this doesn't make any sense, because is that trying to convey the point that this this is before they came up with the they're going to work, Gordon's going to work thing, and that's how the game starts? Because that might be it. You really gotta coddle these guys for it to work. Wow, shadows don't look good at all. That's where I came in from. Wow, you're spazzing out, huh? This is also in the game. I know exactly what part of this game it's supposed to be. This leads into the freezer. Wow. Okay. This is a very early version of the freezer. Because it's very small. A lot of the gameplay elements aren't here. Do I really have to use these boxes to... Also, you don't shoot grates, they open up automatically. Okay, so the flashlight kind of works in that sense of it, which is nice. Wow, this is really close to what it's supposed to be, to what it eventually became. So that's actually kind of neat. It's like the Half-Life 2 beta, but uh, a little more organized, as this was actually meant to be shown to people. Another thing with headcrabs. The reason I'm playing in god mode is because with headcrabs, you, one hit and you are dead. If you get hit with by a headcrab once, you are dead. Huh. Door's not opening. That door's not opening either. This door isn't opening. This is pointless in here. Because it's not supposed to be. Stop moving! Oh. I don't like how that just opens up. This is also in the game. However, I think flashlights are supposed to work. Or maybe the lighting just isn't done in this part of the game. This is in the game. I don't need to really tell you what parts are in the game. Everyone's played Half-Life that watches my stuff. I think I can assume that. But it's just a buggy, very buggy version of the first game. A little neat piece of Valve history. I think coming down here was a mistake. Let's go back. Wow. When you don't hold crouch and you're you're down like that, you move heck of fast. Ow. Ow. Uh. Got 
gotta be kidding me. What? Where am I? I fell down to a place I already had been. What? 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 I, sh I, I was already here, right? Yes, I, I was already here. Right. Can I save? Okay, sweet. Oh, snap hole. Oh, who's shooting at me? I thought that was a turret. I guess not. Um, oh, is this the, the jump part? Well, those don't open. What about this? don't like how, how ladders are at all. Oh, great. 